No bad time, we've got a few things here, a few big things, let's get through it. Yeah, I don't know where to start, we'll start somewhere. It, we'll start in the middle, that's the middle isn't it? Dip the links down below for these things if I can give you a link for something. Find out more information or perhaps buy something yourself or even just support the channel. Use the link, go to the website, buy something completely different. You can also do that. This helps to support the channel. I get a bit of money from commissions sometimes and uh, helps me to buy more things to make video contents with. iPhone 6S Plus battery. Excellent. Finally arrived. Actually, it's got it's quite a nice budget. Look at that one. It's quite a nice one. Usual spudger set and another one which has got a little metal screwdriver with it. With some bits. This is actually a really nice set. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Check this out. Check out the screwdriver. And some proper decent bits. Excellent. That was worth buying just for that. So this battery took a little while to arrive, oh, I don't know, probably six weeks I think roughly. But it's arrived. Yeah, I just didn't have a spare one. I repaired my iPhone 6S Plus. The battery which I purchased locally was slightly thick. It's pushing against the screen, creating a hot spot on the screen. And I didn't want to wait for this one to arrive, so I ended up buying another local battery from a different person. And that's been in there now working fine. So this is now my spare battery. <laughs> Cheap side cutters. But I actually quite like these cutters. Now these are the same ones you get with 3D printers like Ender 3, stuff like that. You know, the Creality printers. I've had a few of these particular cutters. And they're not particularly strong, they're only okay for doing thin stuff, you know. They're not particularly wonderful, but they're good for doing component lead trimming. Like on circuit boards, you're doing repair and you're replacing through hole components, and you've got the component leads. These little cutters, they're actually really good for getting in there. And they're really fine tip, and they're flush, they're flush cutting as well. Alright, so it gives lots of control. And I actually really like them, that's why I've got two pairs, because I broke one. And I only have one pair left, I think, of these ones, so I thought I'll get some more. And the bigger packages. The box inside the bag. I'll just put just the box in itself, could not I? Did I do the bag, really? <laughs> Strange, right, isn't it? Slightly squashed, but in this case, if it is what I think it is, that does not matter. Who says ram knife isn't strong? Time, as AVE says. Verhala Scientific. EPEN version of the 2500 ACDC current calibrator. I've done a repair on one of these. You have probably seen that video. I did it six months ago now, probably. I have an electronic version of this manual, or this very manual, in fact. See, it's got this interface. This is what mine's got. There's different versions. Some have got push buttons and some have got nothing at all on the front. You have to make sure if you get the manual, you get the right version of the manual to suit your unit, because there are differences. And I'm hoping it's actually the exact right one. I don't know, because there's still some variances between these circuit diagrams, between the different versions. This is the same as the electronic version I've got. It's no different, I don't think. But that doesn't matter, it's close enough. Um, there is a, you know, here's the diagram, which is falling out. Yeah. Need to re uh, punch in, no big deal. But there are some differences, like the actual circuitry around here is slightly different around that area. But yeah, this is exactly right. This is actually the one that matches my unit. Mine physically has this in place, but it's a intermediate version of the PCB. It's got these modifications on it, but it's like a previous revision of the PCB. So it's kind of in between the two, but yeah, anyway, that's there, that's good. Um, I need to do something about these holes, but at least I've got a physical manual for you now. I always like to get physical manuals if I can. I've said that many times. I'm not sure I like the folder though, but anyway, this is original, uh, good enough. Now let's go to this big one here, then we'll go to the last package. 
we'll see what's in this one first. I think this is, well, I think I know what's in here. But let's see how we go. I think we're a bit over with the packaging. <laughs> there you go. It's one of these cases. What just fell off? This just fell off. Oh, it's bloody broken. It's broken. I've been went overboard with packaging. That's annoying. Um, I've got some of these previously from a different supplier, and they were okay, but they weren't wonderful. But they did the job, right? Um, this one having a broken latch doesn't really bode well for it. Yeah thing is this is a poly material, this is polypropylene or something I think. You can't glue that. Bugger. That's a logic claim. Been waiting for this thing for two months. Two months. So I was gonna link the for this thing down below. Um, I'm not sure it's as good as the other one. The other ones I've got previously, they actually had a rubber, rubber seal in here, they were actually watertight was it oh and they made it an attempt to make it waterproof. This doesn't have the seal in here, the seal is empty. Um, it's not inside the box, is it? No. So, it's not as, actually as good as the one I got before. Um, and it looks like, in fact it couldn't even survive shipping, means it's probably not particularly strong. And I need these to be relatively robust. They don't need to be wonderful. I'm not going to get thrown around or anything, but... I shouldn't be broken just in shipping, really. Oh well. It's none of these interesting boxes from Ukraine. Let's see if I can get into it. No, I'll turn the knife around. <laughs> These are always very thoroughly taped up. I think I might need to use a different knife. I'm trying to be careful with it as well. And you'll see why in a second. There's two things in here. Excellent. One. New in box. 1989-1988. Now what have I been buying for Ukraine which is new in box recently? Hmm. Guess this down below in the comments. Alright, let's look in here. That's right, it's another resistor. Now, I've actually already got this value resistor and this one. So this one here is a, um, um, it's a, um, how many zeros is that? <laughs> That's a 10K. Right, this is a 10K resistor. This one is a 100K resistor, I think. I'd better check that. I've already got both those values, but I was not happy with the performance of the ones I've already purchased. They were quite a way off the, the spec. Well, they were still within spec, but they were quite a lot way off value, and I didn't want that much variance between them. I actually wanted to be more accurate than that. And the thing about these is they've also got the manuals with them. So, Yep, 10K, 100K. 
Oh, this has been recently sealed up. 22. Calibration check 22. Excellent. So I'll actually check the calibration before I send it. And it reckons it is that value right there. So we've got an actual value there of what it should be. Which is the main reason I wanted these, because it documents the actual value. Let's check this one. These boxes are recent, they're not the originals, but they're also recent packaged. And that's this one's actual value just here. Nice. So at least I know what the actual values are, right? Whereas the other ones I purchased, I didn't actually know that. There's no documentation with the other ones which were these values, but um, they were off by a little bit and I wasn't really comfortable. I thought they'd probably go fine, you know, but you know, in spec and what have you, but I wanted more precision and I wanted to know what the exact values are. I think I need to hook these up to something to test them. So I'm just testing the 10K and my signal which I've just turned on, so it's obviously not warmed up yet. It's not going to be perfect. It's currently reading 9.99991K. Pretty damn close. So we're now doing the 100k version and this is supposed to be 99.997k or 9976k and I'm getting basically that, I'm getting a bit of noise on my meter there even though I've got four wire, I've got, it's not ideal setup, I need to put on my other meters really it's basically saying what this says which is great, it all agrees Don't forget to check out the other videos at the bottom there, things you might be interested in subscribe over here if you're not already subscribed Want to become a Patreon? Click that link over there, help support the channel, and I can buy more things like this. Or other things, but yeah, you get the idea. Bye.